Good afternoon here from the National Weather Service in Springfield, Missouri. It's about 1 p.m. on Tuesday, May 17th. We're going to be talking about severe weather chances and some flooding chances for overnight tonight into early Wednesday morning. Then hint on a, a little bit of a severe weather chance going on later this week on Friday. So the main key messages with this system is that there's a thunderstorm complex expected to develop across the kind of the Kansas Nebraska border area and then that will move east tonight. There is uncertainty in the track of that storm system, but we're kind of favoring more northern track at this time across kind of the northern half of Missouri. Uh, we'll have to see as the evening goes on exactly which track that takes and make updates as time allows. Uh, primarily looking at a damaging wind and large hail threat with this system. Tornado threat would be very, very low, and there could be isolated flooding. Here's the day one outlook on the left for overnight tonight, and you can see I have a highlighted in there then that blue area uh, where there's uncertainty in the southern extent of that outlook. Uh, right now, like I said, we're favoring more northern track, uh, which would be more towards our west central Kansas, our east central Kansas counties into central Missouri. Um, and up over the northern parts of Missouri as well. Um, and then early Wednesday, there's a residual threat just from the overnight thunderstorms that may linger uh, into early Wednesday morning, but that threat should be fairly small. Breaking the threat down into individual risks, uh, the hail probabilities are a little on the lower side, uh, favoring up to the northwestern portions of our forecast area. Wind probabilities are a little greater. Uh, this overnight convection is going to be mainly in the form of line segments, which would favor a wind threat. And the tornado threat is not quite zero, but it's pretty close to it at about 2% right there. So we're really not worried too much about that tornado threat. Again, we're going to need to watch the southern extent of this. It may need to be pushed north, but if a southern track ends up occurring with the thunderstorms, that, that southern end of that outlook might verify pretty well. Uh, here's a timing graphic to show kind of a rough estimate of timing and severity and chances all rolled into one. Uh, you can see that area circled in, uh, or just put in a square yellow box, favoring uh, the northern portions of our forecast area from, oh, say, over in Warsaw, Osage Beach, Rolla, Nevada areas, uh, favored for the greatest threats and chances of storms and severe storms overnight. There are still chances elsewhere, but right now with that uncertainty on not knowing the track of the system, we're going to have to have those, uh, keep an eye on those, and right now they have a lower threat. Uh, right now we're looking at the uncertainty uh, in location being pretty low, or the confidence in the location of uh, the track of the system being pretty low. Um, again, we'll be refining that through the evening hours, and especially towards the later evening, we should have at least a better idea of what that will look like. Uh, timing, median confidence in that. Uh, we're looking at a model showing fairly similar uh, differences in timing. Um, impacts wise, it's going to depend on exactly what the system does. If it stays more to our north, the impacts will be a little lower. If it comes into the northern portions of the area or elsewhere, it'll be uh, a little on the higher side of those impacts. So again, it's going to depend highly on the track of the system, and we're just going to have to keep an eye on that as the evening goes on. As far as the flooding threat, there is potential for flooding. We're not expected to be expecting that to be real widespread, but wherever thunderstorms can train, uh, you could expect some localized flooding, mainly up toward our central Missouri counties uh, is where we're looking at that threat right now. Um, we're watching the details for uh, a severe weather threat going on on Friday. Right now, the timing suggests Friday afternoon and evening for those severe thunderstorms to be hot at that day. And we have a cold front coming in. Um, so that's always a good recipe for severe thunderstorms this time of year. Uh, all modes of severe thunderstorms threats are possible uh, from large hail, damaging winds, uh, perhaps some tornadoes, uh, lightning, and uh, we'll have to watch the threat, flooding threat as well. So just stay tuned for updates. Uh, it's probably gonna be a busy weekend end of the week um, for a lot of people. There's a lot of events going on and just need to stay weather aware as we move into the Friday timeframe. Be sure to check our website, weather.gov slash Springfield for severe weather resources and make sure you have ways to receive warnings going into tonight. You know, that overnight severe weather threat always requires some extra ways to, to wake you up if uh, the need arises.